Well, it is important to remember that COVID-19 is not a foodborne disease. In other words, you cannot get sick by ingesting the food that has uh, COVID-19. It's a respiratory disease. And uh, the CDC and the USDA and FDA are not aware of any reports uh, that would suggest that COVID-19 can be transmitted through foods or, or food packaging. As I said, it's not a gastrointestinal disease, so a person cannot get sick by ingesting food that may be uh, contaminated with COVID-19. Uh, viruses cannot multiply on inanimate surfaces. They do require a living cell to mu multiply. Uh, that said, a recent study uh, found that coronaviruses can persist on uh, inanimate surfaces um, and can remain infectious for, for a different amount of time. And that time is from several hours uh, up to several and up to nine days. I think two hours to nine days. Uh, that's uh, what this study found. So it is important to clean and sanitize surfaces. This is always true for your kitchen counter, uh, especially during the food preparation. Regardless of this uh, coronavirus outbreak, um, uh, cleanliness uh, of kitchen surfaces is important for food safety. So uh, we say you always should clean uh, kitchen counter and kitchen surfaces and avoid uh, cross-contamination of anything that might be on the surfaces to your foods. So wash your hands before you go uh, grocery shopping. Just before entering, use your hand sanitizer in case you touched your face uh, prior to entering the grocery store. I have observed that many of our grocery shops already wipe uh, the, and sanitize the carts, but if this is not the case in your grocery store, wipe uh, the grocery car uh, cart handle because that is a high-touch surface that um, has the potential to tr transmit the virus. When in grocery shopping, in addition to this extra layer of caution that we're putting because of COVID-19, make sure you're following all food safety precautions that you normally would. So shop for your groceries uh, towards the end of your shopping so they do not stay, remain in your cart for a while. Separate raw uh, meats from um, ready to eat foods like uh, fresh produce. Make sure to keep distance from people. So this is the highest risk for COVID transmission. When you are finished with your grocery shopping, use your hand sanitizer before you get into the car. Opt for self-checkout if you can, and uh, make sure to uh, handle uh, the least possible uh, objects uh, in your purse. Uh, use credit card instead of uh, cash, and uh, credit cards are much easier to clean. I would not recommend leaving your groceries out. Please refrigerate your groceries uh, that require refrigeration uh, promptly after you come back from your shopping. Uh, wash your hands, wash your hands, and wash your hands. So before you do anything, wash your hands. After you're organizing your groceries, wash your hands. Everything that needs to be promptly refrigerated is uh, refrigerated. Do not overload your refrigerator. I know we all tend to shop a little bit more uh, during this co coronavirus outbreak, just to make sure that we don't have to uh, go to grocery uh, and do grocery shopping very often. So don't overload your fridge. Know your, the temperature in your fridge. It has to remain um, uh, 40 uh, Fahrenheit or lower. Make sure that you are abiding by all food safety uh, practices that you normally would. Takeout and deliveries definitely minimize the number of touches by people, and uh, by that, they minimize the exposure to COVID 19 or possibility for the transmission. Uh, of COVID-19. Uh, this is especially true if restaurants are practicing 
social uh, physical distancing and good uh, preparation practices. Delivered food presents no risk uh, if the restaurant practices no touch, no interaction policy. Uh, what this means is that the food uh, that is delivered to you is handled by the least, the minimum possible uh, handlers and that these handlers and uh, people who deliver uh, the food do not interact directly with people, uh, with customers um, that they see on daily basis. 